So YouTube released this brand new version of the app where you can go ahead and double tap the screen and it will skip the video 10 seconds further like forwards or backwards depending on where you are pressing on the screen. I think it's a really cool feature to have on the actual app and I really like it and I would like to share it with you guys. But be sure to go ahead and hit that like button if you guys already noticed that. But today guys we are taking a look at how to make your very own animated lower third on Android. So I made a video on that a long time ago but it was on a boring lower third that everyone can actually make. But today guys I'm going to be teaching you how to make a lower third that looks like this. But no, for real guys, the actual lower third looks like this and I actually pretty much like it. That's why I would like to share with you guys how to make it. So first thing you need to go ahead and download this app, which is Fonto. So if you guys don't have it, I will leave a link in the description below, download it. Then hit on this button right over here and hit load the new image from your gallery. Choose a transparent background. If you guys don't have it, you can go, go ahead and just create it using Photoshop Touch. Once you guys are done with this, hit on this pen button right over here and put wherever the heck you want to put on your actual lower third. For example, I'm making a YouTube uh, lower third, that's why I'm going to be writing subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit to save, just go ahead and resize it and hit on the save button. So do the exact same steps again, but this time instead, put, go, go ahead and just put your name on the text and hit on save and you are done. So once you guys are done, go ahead and move on to Photoshop Touch, which is this app right over here. If you guys don't have it, as always, the link will be in the description below. You can download it from there. Plus on this, uh, press, press on this plus button and create a brand new project by hitting on OK. And then you need to go ahead and import on Photoshop Touch the logo of the app that you would like to create a lower third for. For example, as I said before, this is a YouTube channel uh lower third so because of that i already downloaded this youtube logo so make sure that it is circular just like this and once you guys are actually done with this go ahead and just make sure that you are on the biology selection tool which is this tool right over here and once you guys are actually done with this all that you have to do is you can go ahead and just draw the uh, lower third shape just like this and then once you guys are done, once you connect it, hit on this end sign right over here and hit on fill and shock and make sure that the color is the exact same color as your very own logo. So as you can see, this is how you are going to like find it at the end. And once you guys are actually done with this, it's the time to go ahead and just press on this plus button right over here and hit on duplicate layer. And once you guys are done, go ahead and transform it and put it on the bottom just like this. So as you can see, it's looking pretty good and I actually really like it. And it, de it depends on you guys how you want it to be. For example, you can just go ahead and create your very own shape. And if you guys would like to add a realistic looking into your lower third, go ahead and just add a drop shadow into the layers just like this. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. So now go ahead and just import the text that we did save earlier. So as you can see, this is the subscribe to my channel text. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it right over here on this first shape that we created right over here because it fits. And for the bottom shape, I'm going to ahead and just put my name right over there because I think it looks really good. And if you guys would like to change the name, put something else, go ahead and do it. It really depends on you. So now all you have to do is you're going to go ahead and just save each layer individually. So go ahead and just disable all the layers and save layer by uh, layer by layer just like this. So for example, this is the first uh, thing. I'm going to ahead and just save the text. Make sure that uh, every time you go ahead and save the text, make sure that the format is set to PNG just like this. Press on it, hit on OK, and it should be saved on your uh, gallery. So we'll go ahead and just go and move on to the next layer, which is the YouTube logo. So I'm going to ahead and just disable the text. I'm going to enable the logo, and then I'm going to ahead and just save the gallery and make sure that it is PNG and do the exact same thing for the other layers. And once you guys are done, go ahead to Kind Master, which is this video editor. If you guys don't have it, as always, the link will be in the description below. So once you guys are done, go ahead and just add a blank document on it and just go ahead and add a, 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 a like background and then make sure that the background color is set to green make sure you change it from black to green just like this and you can control how long your your lower third will actually last on your video for example i'm going to just put it 10 seconds just like this and let's go ahead and start up hit on this layer button right over here and make sure you hit on media which is this button right over here and just start by adding the layers that we created 
previously from Photoshop Touch. So I did start with my logo, make sure that it is full screen and make sure that it is full time, just like this. And then go ahead and just give it an animation. So I suggest you to add this wipe uh, animation or scale or you can just go ahead and be creative but the one that i love is actually slide right and make sure that the timing is like below 0.5 so it's going to be a whole lot faster and then go ahead and just give it an out animation by pressing on this button right over here so for the out animation you can just go ahead and do whatever you want for example i love the fade on the out animation because of that i'm going to leave it just like this so do the same thing for the second material which is this one right over here but make sure that you press on these three buttons hit on send to back so once you guys are done with this it's going to like put it below the logo just like this and once you guys are actually done with this go ahead and add an in animation into the actual logo press on this button right over here and just make sure that every time you add a animation make sure this actually fits the rhythm of the other animations just like this so make sure that you when you end up you will be having a clean animation that fit each other so I ends up having something like that and I pretty much I'm, I'm happy about it to be honest and the animation looks uh, like synced up with each other and I, I really love it and I'm actually proud with what I have done right over here so make sure make sure that you guys are ends up having something like this but anyways guys once you are actually done hit on this share button right over here and save your own video on full resolution if you want so hit on full HD and wait for it so I'll be right back when I'm done. So once you guys are actually done with this, you're gonna go ahead to Kind Monster again, open up the video that you guys would like to add the lower third on, and go ahead and hit on this layer button and hit on media, and make sure that the video layer is actually supported on your device. If not, go ahead and download Kind Monster from the description below, and once you guys download it, you should be having this video layer option on the Kind Monster. So once you guys are actually done with this, go ahead and just add the video that we just saved and just put it like on the corners of the screen just like this and i know it have a green background but don't worry guys kind of master have this chroma key option press on it and hit on unable and as you can see the green background that we created earlier will disappear so you can actually adjust it from here and make it look more cleaner but i'm actually happy with the results right over here so once you guys are actually done with this what you have to do you're gonna go ahead and just uh, press whatever you want and you will end up having something like this as you can see it's really amazing and I really love this uh, like lower third and it's amazing guys you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead and just try it out and I'm pretty sure you guys will actually love it so this is the lower third tutorial guys I really hope that you find it helpful and if you did please go ahead and just drop a like down below check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out